Hi guys, it's Graham again and welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today is Monday morning and it is the 19th of August. I currently am off, it's my second day off, and I am going to read some more of Unnatural Causes by Dr. Richard Shepherd. This is brilliant. Um, it's about, obviously, Dr. Richard Shepherd and his life as a forensic pathologist. Um, this, this gentleman has uh, performed over 23,000 autopsies. He has uh, tackled serial killers. His, um, his post-mortem results have put um, killers behind bars. They've freed the innocent. Um, this goes really into depth on subjects about, obviously, dead bodies. <laughs> um, about like the, the, the how how the dead body decomposes, um, forms of decompo de um, decomposition. I can't even speak this morning. For like the, the, the different ways that the body can decompose, um, your body can mummify, your body can solidify itself in its own fat. It's disgusting, but fascinating at the same time. Um, now this this kind of feeds into my my love of true crime um, because obviously he works in close proximity with the police and with um, killers and all that kind of thing. Um, I will read you the back of the book. <clears throat> Top forensic pathologist Dr Richard Shepherd has performed over 23,000 autopsies. A detective in his own right, he must solve the mystery of sudden or unexplained deaths. How did this person die? In the pursuit of the truth, he has tackled serial killers, natural disasters, perfect murders, and freak accidents. His evidence has put killers behind bars, freed the innocent, and turned open and shut cases on their heads. Yet all this has come at huge personal cost. In Unnatural Causes, he tells us the story not only of the bodies and cases that have haunted him most, but also how to live a life steeped in death. Um, so it's part memoir, part um, discussion on, on his on his job and um, the different facets of like crime detection through um, the use of forensic pathology. Um, so up my street, it's really, really good. I'm absolutely loving it so far, um, so I'm going to get on with reading maybe a few more chapters of this today, and I have a, a nice cup of coffee, I'm sitting in the, the conservatory, uh, the door is open, there's a light drizzle happening, um, but it's warm at least. Um, I have a corgi at my feet, which is always nice, um, so I'll see you again soon, um, I'll probably pick up my camera and film some more of, of my chatter later on about this book. Um, so yeah, cool. Speak soon. So a little something completely unrelated to books and reading, um, Hubby's Greenhouse. Um, we have our tomatoes which are, are coming on quite well. Um, I'll step back out and show you. Um, quite a few tomatoes. Um, these are especially lovely when it's been really hot and sunny and you, you pick them off the vine and they're, they're warm from the vine and the smell and the taste is just glorious. Um, we have my chilli plants, which I've... Oh, 
a vine leaf there, sorry, um, which we've taken some of the the chilies off off of. Um, some I'm not quite sure what that is. I think it might be marigolds. I'm not sure. Uh, Duncan, my husband, meant to plant it, but there you go. And then we have the grapevine. Um, some of the grapes, I don't know, they seem to be dying. Um, pretty much raisins. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's our greenhouse. Um, it's very warm in there, quite sweaty, um, but it smells glorious. So I've just finished another chapter in Unnatural Causes by Dr. Richard Shepherd. Uh, in the chapter he discusses how difficult it can be to discuss the, the death of a family member with relatives. Um, the questions that they ask, things like did he or she suffer, um, was it quick, was it slow, uh, what, what happened. Um, you, and, and we can't now look at the body because you've cut it up, you've done this. Um, and he describes how he feels that, that death feels to the person who's dying. And I think that's quite interesting because death as a subject, I, I am frightened of death. Death scares me. Um, but reading his words on how he feels that death feels to the to the person who's dying is is, is very interesting. It's very um, it's almost quite calming, really. It, it it makes you think, you know, of the bigger picture. Um, you're born, you live, you die. Uh, there's there's kind of no way of getting away from that, really. Um, it's 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 so well written. It's it's absolutely brilliant. It's so thought provoking as well. I didn't. I didn't go into it thinking that it would be, well, I thought it probably would be, but not as thought provoking as it has been. Um, you have to, you have to read this if you if you've not already read this, you have to. Um, it was originally published last year, I think, in hardcover. So obviously this is the paperback. Um, I must have missed it when it came out, but totally up my street. I'm so enjoying it. Um, it's so well written. He's he's a wordsmith. Um, it's almost poetic. Uh, it's so good, so good. I'm going to continue on reading. I'm going to make myself a cuppa, um, and then I'll, I'll speak again soon, no doubt. Uh, the rain has stopped. Uh, it's still very warm, quite dull. The sun kind of keeps trying to make a uh, uh, an appearance, but doesn't quite doesn't quite get there. But we'll see. So I'm just home from picking this one up. Hello. Did a good day at work? Glad it's over. Glad it's over. Um, I'm going to read a few more pages of this. We're in the summer house. Um, it's quite warm. It's a bit, still a bit dull though. Um, we've, got, we've got crisps, we've got tea, 
Um, what are you going to read? I haven't quite decided. What have you just finished reading? I've just finished reading A Step Away From Paradise. Mm -hmm. What was that about? It's a true story of a llama who inspired um, quite a few people mm -hmm. to leave their homes, sell up all their possessions, yeah. go up into the hills and find this magical place that exists in a Buddhist religion there, all okay. in a Tibet kind of way. Sounds really good. It's really interesting and it, it's not only the, the faith side of it but the politics as well. Mm -hmm. And these high lamas, um, of which the Dalai Lama is one, that they can pluck things out of the air. It's all to do with magic okay. and, and faith. Um, and then there's a little bit of politics thrown in as well. Oh, it was a good book. Good. All, so, sorry, what you going to say? All, all written in like the Himalayas and all that sort of bleak, very poor environment. But it was a lo lovely book. <laughs> so would you recommend it to, to viewers? <coughs> oh, very much, yes. Very what much. was the name of it again? A Step Away From Paradise. Andrew's at mine. Now, I'm not going to be able to pronounce that. <laughs> No, I can't. Uh, I can't pronounce that. Thomas oh. K S H O R. S H O R. Shore. Yeah. Thomas K Shore. Yes. A step away from paradise. And he says it's very good. It is very good. Well, there you go. <coughs> so we're going to have our. <coughs> a <couple. coughs> Clearly, someone made a noise three streets away. Um, we're gonna. I'm gonna read a few. That can't even speak now. I'm going to read a few more pages of Unnatural Causes by Dr. Richard Shepherd. Really enjoying it. I'm almost halfway through, so I'm, I'm getting through it. And um, we're gonna drink our tea, eat some crisps, and then think about food, aren't we? I'm gonna try the Void War oh. by D. J. Holmes. We'll, we'll see how that goes. What's that about? Spaceships, space travel, and science fiction. <laughs> Sci-fi. Geek stuff. I hope you enjoy it. We'll see. I'm just free. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, whatever you're doing, I hope you enjoy. Whatever you're reading, I hope you love it. Stay fabulous. Be amazing. Be yourself. And have a great day. And I'll see you again soon for another video. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>